Hey guys, welcome back. At the onset of festival season, today I am here with a very famous and almost everyone's favorite sweet jalebi with all healthy substitutions as usual because homemade flavors is all about inspiring to eat healthy and stay healthy. So before getting into the recipe, if you are new here, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay tuned for more healthy and interesting recipes. So now get into the recipe and see how to make this instant whole wheat flour jalebis. To start with our recipe, take 1 cup of whole wheat flour and add 2 spoons of rice flour. Adding rice flour helps in making the jalebi very crispy and crunchy. So now add half teaspoon of baking soda and mix all the dry ingredients like this. Now to this measure 1 cup of homemade yogurt and add this gradually and mix with the dry ingredients. Make sure to use sour yogurt so that it gives crispy and crunchy jalebis. Now here I added the entire yogurt and I am measuring around 3 fourth cup of water and gradually mixing this water along with this flour. Traditionally jalebis are made using all purpose flour but here I am using whole wheat flour instead of all purpose flour because I just want to avoid all purpose flour as it is processed and, and chemically bleached. So just to avoid this processed food, I am using whole wheat flour instead of all purpose flour. And moreover, we are using jaggery instead of sugar because jaggery is more healthy than sugar. Here you can see the batter should be semi thick like this if, because if the batter is liquidy, you will get soft jalebis. To make a crispy jalebis, we have to make a semi thick batter like this. Here I am adding this food color and adding food color is optional. So I added a pinch of yellow color to give a perfect jalebi color. Once the batter is well mixed, now take a ziplock bag and keep in a tumbler like this. Now divide this batter into two halves and transfer half of the batter into this ziplock. If you don't have ziplock bag, you may use any cover that is available with you. So transfer just half of the batter. If you transfer the entire batter, it will be very difficult to handle this. Now fold this and hold like this and we have to cut this strip when we are using. Now keep it aside and take one and half cups of jaggery in a vessel and add half cup of water to this one and half cups of jaggery and melt this on medium heat. Make sure to stir this so that this jaggery will not be burnt without melting. Here you can see I kept oil also on another wide pan like this. Using wide pan like this helps in making perfect jalebi. So always make sure to use a wide pan like this. Now here our jaggery is also melted and cooked. Now this is very sticky and here we don't have to get the string consistency. So now switch off the flame and now here I am cutting the tip of this uh, ziplock bag. One important tip here is we have to cut this uh, tip of the ziplock bag very narrow otherwise if the tip is very broad this batter will not be cooked properly and jalebis will not turn into crispy. Now here I am dropping little batter and see if the oil is heated. Here you can see this drop of batter raised to the top so the oil is well heated. Now keep the flame in low and now transfer the batter into the oil in the form of jalebis like this. Make sure to reduce the flame to low when you are dropping this batter into the oil because if the oil is too much heated this jalebis will not form into perfect shape and also if the oil is not hot also this jalebi will not be formed. So always moderate hot oil should be used to make jalebis. Now do not disturb them until they are little cooked. Here you can see they are little fried so now flip them and allow them to fry on the other side also. If the jalebis are not fried well they will not be crispy they will be soft so they should be fried well. Here you can see they are well fried and turned into golden brown in color. So now carefully transfer them from the oil to the jaggery syrup that we prepared earlier. Drain the excess oil like this and now transfer to the jaggery syrup and immediately flip this to the other side. Allow the jalebi to absorb jaggery syrup on both sides and remove after 30 seconds. Do not allow them to sit more than 30 seconds because they will become soggy. 
if you want crispy jalebis just remove them after 30 seconds now transfer this to a plate and continue the process until the entire batter is done here you can see our perfect shop style crispy and delicious jalebi is ready now i'll break one for you here you can see they are super crispy and juicy inside just like the store bought ones and no one will believe that we made this jalebi with whole wheat flour so friends try making this instant whole wheat flour jalebi and let me know in the comment section if you like my recipe please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon and stay tuned for more healthy and interesting recipes this is rupa signing off for today and see you in the next video thank you